Hey, what's up YouTube? Today I'm going to quickly show you how to remove and replace your ignition lock cylinder in this 1998 Dodge Dakota Sport. Okay, so what you would need to do next is to remove this cover, this plastic cover. And in order to, to remove that, you're going to need a tool that's not going to be in every toolbox, which is a long T20 Torx bit. Okay, this needs to be long because it needs to go through these holes. There's three screws that are holding this in. One here, one in the middle, and one on the back. Uh, and you know this needs this needs to be thin and long so you can reach up there to to get a to, so you can get those screws out. Okay. Okay. So first we'll go ahead and remove this metal one. There's one. Okay. Next we'll get this one on the right. There's this one. Okay. And last we get this one on the on the left side. There we go. Okay, now we should be able to remove these covers. Okay, so in order to get that ignition lock cylinder out, there's gonna be a little metal tab that's on the side of it that you would need to press in to take it out. And you can only access it if you turn your steering wheel to the side. Okay, and here I'll get a flashlight and, and try to zoom in so you guys can uh, see what I'm talking about. Yeah, it's still hard to see, but there it is. There's a tab right in the center of your screen. That guy right there. There we go. So you would need to press that in. You need to put the key in the ignition and turn it two clicks. And once you turn it two clicks, you'll be able to press that in and then you pull out your ignition lock cylinder with the key in it, okay? Okay, and in order to get to that tab, you can either use a long, thin screwdriver and go at it from the side, or I'm just gonna be using my pick that's, that's angled at the end so to get to it, okay? so. You want to get your key, put it in the ignition, turn it one click, two click, and then you press that in. And then you pull on this whole ignition with your key in it and it should come out, okay? There we go. And there's your ignition lock cylinder. Now you can take this to the, your local auto parts store and get a new one. And basically this is a reversal of removal. Okay, and uh, here's a closer look at the tab that's going to be facing you that you need to press in. See, as you can see, when the key is in this position, you can press this in, and if it's one click back, you cannot push it in and get it out of the ignition lock cylinder housing. Okay, so when you get a new one, you need to put it in the same position and uh, where you can press this in, and then you just line it up, and you just push it in, turn the key, and it's locked in. Okay? There we go. Also, a lot of people ask me, uh, they run into problems where the key either breaks off in there or, you know, it's they just can't turn this some for some whatever reason to get into the, the, the accessory position where they can press in that tab. Basically, you are on this car, you can unscrew these three, three screws. There's one on top. There's actually two on top, one here, one back here one on here and take this whole assembly out and replace that assembly uh, with your ignition switch and your ignition lock cylinder part of it uh, but let's say if you couldn't do that and uh, basically you have to just find a way of uh, either drilling out that tab or you know pushing it in you know sometimes they're a lot more accessible accessible than this <clears throat> so you could you know you could just uh, drill it out uh, just try to you know make sure you don't damage the housing because the housing may be part of your steering wheel column and then uh, if you uh, want to replace that you might have a hard time okay so yeah hope this video helps people out there if you like the video please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you want to see more like it and i'll see you next time thanks for watching